advice to tell them. So, uh, this band wouldn't exist to the very least of which 603 records, Burnt Bridges records, Ronnie Allen, Zabalba, Shane Murray, Alpha Omega, Brian Skeleton. The laundry list goes on and on and go on forever about all the reasons and all the people who like to but the fan exists. But uh, what you may be asking yourself is, and what a lot of people have asked me is, uh, why didn't we choose to play in the Northwest for our very last show, being we're a band from Southern California? It's just a pretty simple answer. We've got our tour, we played the Northwest probably six or seven times as a band, and every single time we played up here, it's always felt more like a home to us when it comes to hardcore punk music than anywhere else we've ever played in this whole country. And uh, every time we play here, we've always got an awesome reaction and we've always had a lot of fun and uh, always met the nicest people and always been treated, uh, treated the best. So uh, we wanted to thank you guys for that. We wanted to play our last show here with a lot of bands that we love, a lot of, a lot of people that we love, and uh, we have fun with the band, so to speak. But uh, I never ask people to move around or launch or anything. You know, you're free to do whatever the fuck you want. I'm not going to tell you to do it. Which you don't want to do, but um, have a good time, move around, push each other, punch each other, do whatever you want, sing along and hear the fucking words. Refreshing.
She said. So, Rick, there's no one. What do you guys think of all the bands we played today? Leeway just fucking played. How the fuck are we supposed to follow Leeway? That's wild. Wild that shit. So, uh, we were supposed to record this uh, three song split tape with uh, our bros riding out. It didn't work out for a couple of reasons. One of which is the fact that I moved away from Los Angeles. Yeah, boo, whatever. <laughs> but uh, second of which, there's another reason behind it. And it's the one that's a little more pertinent, I guess. What was that? The Lakers went, I don't know, the Lakers and the Suns went. Yeah. Right, exactly, whatever, who fucking cares. Doesn't put money in my pocket. Anyways, so, uh, in the last, like, six months or so, I've, uh, I got engaged, I got married, I, uh, I turned 30, I got a new job, and I moved away from Los Angeles, so a lot of positive things happened to me in my life, and the driving force between how I think and how I write lyrics and how I put pen to paper is from my anger and my dissent and my, uh, Disapproval of my surroundings, and uh, I'm in a different place. And uh, not to say that I'm better or above anybody, because no matter who you are in here, I've been where you've been, and I felt what you felt. But I rose above it, and it's hard to fake it and try to pretend like I have all this anger and all this aggression and all this animosity when I just I just don't have it anymore. And I'm not going to fucking lie to you. And I'm not going to fake it. And I'm not going to put. Five bucks. We got some leftover merch. Grab whatever you can. But I thank you guys again. These guys on stage with me here are my brothers, and they're my best friends, and they will always be that, no matter what.